stay close. I don't mean to sound suspicious, but do we really think the admin is going to keep his word about this clock? Yeah, I don't exactly get a trustworthy vibe off of him. If he knows what's good for him, he better keep his deal. We get the clock, the town's freed from eternal darkness. And hey, if he doesn't stick to the deal, we'll just need to find another punchier way to convince him. Jesse, uh, can we, um, talk? I'll just walk a little more over here. Oh, uh, right. Uh, uh, -huh. me, me, me too. About that trip with Jack. I promise it's not like it seems. It's just a little trip. A little time away from Beacon Town. You're gonna come back, right? Sure, uh, of course. I, I really am sorry that it happened this way. I, I was just so excited to be hanging out with real hardcore adventurers again. Especially because I was worried that you, that you didn't need me anymore. Petra, of course I need you, that's ridiculous. Ugh. See, this is why it would have been so much easier if you hadn't found out like this. It's just... <sighs> Everything's so different from when we first became friends. Everything's... changed. Lucas, Axel, Olivia, they all changed too. They found what made them happy. Their thing. But me? I still haven't found mine. Do you know how hard that is? I mean, if I'm honest, it does seem like adventure is your calling, you know, the open road. Right? That's kind of what I thought, too. On that llama? Huh. Think she ran away again? Uh, excuse me. Speaking for the group, you guys know a llama? Where'd she come from? This is Luna. She's kind of cute, right? We returned her to her owner, Stella. She is cute, isn't she? Everyone get away from my llama. No. Jesse, my rival. Should have known I would find you here. Yeah, I'm still really not your rival, really. So you say, and yet here we still meet. Okay, what is going on here? Lucas, this is Stella, the leader of Champion City. This is Jack, Voss, and Radar. Jacques, was it? As in, the legendary champion? So, what exactly are you doing here, Stella? My beautiful city is currently covered in a hideous coat of snow. That's what. I came out to investigate, and surprise, surprise, it's you. If you're smart, you'll undo whatever it is you did and put things right again. Just... wow. Pretending to be a hero again, just like back in your treasure room? I... no! Just... But I am going to fix it. <laughs> well, I believe we have it well covered, miss. We're on our way to find a mighty adversary and set things right. All right, let's say I believe you. I suppose I'll just have to find a way to fix it. It's my world too, after all. You'll see, I'll fix it all on my own. I don't need any of you losers. Whoa, the, the moon is stuck. Okay, that's freaky. So, Stella, you were saying? I was saying that maybe I'll stick around for a bit, just to keep an eye on you.
You know, I've been thinking about it, and I totally agree that adventure is probably the closest I've got to a thing. But did this adventure really have to include Stella? <laughs> You okay, Radar? Yes, yes, totally fine. Guys, shh. We need to keep an eye. Whoa. I'm actually kind of speechless right now. Man, and it's all ice? <laughs> Astounding. <laughs> I know. You holding up okay? Not gonna have another <clears throat> episode? No. No, no, I'm not. I'm, uh, I'm taking my fear, my anger, my rage, my fear, and, uh, converting them into pure awesomeness. Uh, good. Good. Hey, found the clock. Oh, perfect. But how are we gonna get up there? Well, the admin mentioned challenges. I'm guessing there's gonna be, like, obstacles or something when we get... <sighs> Wait, do I have this right? Are you telling me that this admin is so powerful, he built all of this instantly? You sound almost jealous. Almost? Of course I'm jealous of power like that. Power is how the world is run, little man. It's what people respect, what they listen to. It's not how my world works, Stella. There are more important things than who has the most power. Huh. I wonder who he would agree with. Oh, Stella, you'll never change. Oh, I thought I recognized you. You're the quitter who used to work on my inventory management team. Wait, wait, do, do you two know each other? Uh, yeah, I, uh, I used to live in Champion City. What? I don't know what he told you to get on this little team, but I don't think he even knows how to use a sword. Oh, you don't know anything, Stella, so zip it. Ooh, how do you put up with that little voice of his, Jesse? I know I never could. Hey, Radar is really brave, all right? Oh, yeah, really super brave, I'm sure. Who even invited you anyway? I'm just telling you, Jesse, I'd be careful about counting on him for anything. Come along, Luna. <laughs> Thanks, Jesse. I appreciate that. I'm not the person she thinks I am anymore. I've changed. And I can prove it. I can be different. Braver. If that's what the situation requires, I'll do it. Yeah, you've definitely changed, Radar. It's always important to try and grow. Yeah. And I promise, I'll make you proud. <whistles> Would you look at that? Haven't seen anything that grand since the last time I visited the overcompensating builders of Igesh. No kidding! Oh boy, my favorite, mystery levers. Okay, what's going on? Aha! Hello, everyone! <laughs> please, please gather round. Y y don't be shy. Here we go again. Oh, look how many of you there are. Lovely. Your choice of company, yeah, I don't know. I mean, this place is really for the best of the best. Not, uh, how do I say this, losers? Mr. Admin, mighty sir, I'm Stella, founder of Champion City. Maybe you've heard of me? No, never. It's actually perfect, Champion. I can see you all have dreams of greatness. It's very cute. This construct before you, it's meant to see who's worthy of that greatness. Separate the strong from the weak. So. We'll see how your little companions do, hey? Well, don't even worry about it, because my friends here aren't weak. Mm-hmm. Cool. If you say so. Come now, don't be that way. This, the 
this is all for you. New creatures of my own design, as well as mining fatigue at every turn. Wouldn't want you cheating, of course. I don't like rule breakers. It's simple. You all want to get to that clock, but only the best of the best get to partner up with me in the future. But that could be you. Cook this place up just for you. I mean, it's pretty... Well, I was going to say pretty cool, but with the whole ice motif, that just seems like I was going for a lame pun, so... Anyway. People's lives are at stake here. Can't say I care for your attitude, but that's fine. You'll figure it out soon enough. Nice landing. Ah, uh, it's nothing. It's just my perfect reflexes and photographic muscle memory. Well, that's it then. The way is shut. Yes. Now I suppose the only way out is through. Yeah, and smashing that clock. Well, we're not all going to be smashing the clock. Say what now? You heard the admin. He only wants the best of the best. And that's going to be me. Oh, you've got to be kidding. Sorry, handsome. Might as well quit now. Wait, but what about your people? Champion City. You're totally selling them out. Boy, do you think, Small. If I'm working with the admin, I'll be able to help Champion City even more. I hope. Wow. It's... it's amazing. Hmm. <laughs> You're his little buddy, Jesse. You know anything about this partnership he's offering? Imagine everything you could create. Everything you could do with a prize like that. All I know is that I don't trust anything the admin says. Uh, I'd agree with that. Come on, Luna. Enough of these losers. We've got treasure to find. Hey. Treasure sniffing llama. Mm hmm. Yeah, tell your friends. <laughs> hey now. Oh, that poor llama. What? Hey, that's cheating. Pretty sure the admin would frown on us using an advantage like Luna. Hmm. The admin said it's about seeing how far we can go, so I'm going. Let's go, Luna. <laughs> That is certainly a woman who knows what she wants. Are you kidding? She's nuts. Ah, well, no one knows better than me that the admin's traps and constructions mean business. You've got a point there, old friend. I don't want to see anyone else get hurt. Yes. And it's like the admin said. Not everyone here might be uh, up for the task. I mean no offense by it, just uh, stating facts. All in this together, all right? No one's getting left behind here. Ah, <sighs> fine. But if something happens to them, that's on you, not me. Come with me, Jack. Uh, let's try and scope this place out. I'm... I'm gonna go talk to them. Well, I have never been so offended. Not in my whole life. Yeah, that wasn't the coolest. Wasn't the coolest? Oh, no. Misfiling your acacia wood during material organization week isn't the coolest. That was... that was a stripe too far. But just because I'm not some sword-swinging meathead, they think they can just walk all over me. They, they think they... they look at me and Radar! my... Yeah, my, my ah, sorry, I had to get that off my chest. I need you to remember that out there, the world is stuck in eternal night. There are a lot of scared people back in Beacon Town who are counting on us. You're right. Uh, we were talking and decided that it would be best for everyone if Radar stays here with Lucas while we go get the clock. <laughs> That's it, Luna, yeah. darling. <laughs> She's got the clock sent! <laughs> yeah. Later, losers!
We're wasting time! Wait! It's like Jesse said. We can't trust the admin. Sure, it looks like Luna found something, but that's... Just what the admin wants us to think. You saw the llama! Jesse, you're coming, right? We could really use a hand over here. I gotta go with them. Be safe, okay? If you're sure. I knew you'd make the smart choice. Okay? Definitely. What a rush. I'm all right. I'm okay. I am so sorry. I'm okay. Really. Just getting my adventure legs. I'll be better in a minute. Hey, it's okay. Take the time you need. Yeah. We'll wait. No, 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 no. Oh, it's not so bad. I can do this. I gotta say, if you're having a hard time with the minecarts, you might not like what comes next. Hello there, it's me again, your friendly neighborhood admin. <laughs> Pretty proud of this challenge, not gonna lie. I was feeling very inspired by the concept of karma. But I'd tell you why, but... Well, that'd spoil the surprise. I'm sure you understand, right? Real heroes live for surprises. Unexpected dangers. I don't need your hints. This game will be over before it even gets started. See, now that's the kind of behavior I like to see in a champion. <laughs> Confident, cool under pressure. Oh, you'll go far. Let's just say I hope you're feeling good about your archery skills, hmm? Between you and me, though, champion, I'm less worried about your archery than I am about your choice of companions. Let's see if I can shuffle the board a bit, hmm? Give you another pair of hands to help out? Where? How? He's no Jesse. But he's better than that other guy, right? Oh, dear. All you need to do is activate the shooting gallery Hit all the targets, and the door will open. <laughs> Easy, right? Okay, but what are those pumpkin heads for? Don't worry, Jesse. We'll figure it out. Bet this will come in handy. Wonder what's in this hopper. Arrows, perfect for shooting targets with. Now I just need a bow. Now I think you need to give him a little more credit. Hey, what you talking about? We were talking about how sometimes you need to just ignore people that are being difficult. Now, Jesse... <laughs> Jesse...
Guess he knows all about that. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Jesse's had to go on adventures with all sorts of people. Yeah, Lucas has got it right. You can't get rid of difficult people, so sometimes you just need to live with them. Yeah, I guess I can try. <sighs> Thanks, Jesse. Well, I suppose we should get back to figuring this room out, huh? We'll get it. Yeah! Always good to have string around. Boss, are you okay? Oh, Jesse! It was the most startling thing. One minute there, the next minute, poof. Well, welcome to the party, I guess. Huh. Yeah. I, I know that I haven't been at my best in the time that we've known each other. 